Mako is the most respected name in the world of offshore fishing and boating. The toughest, strongest boats are built by Mako. They've been doing it since 1966. That's nearly 50 years. I bought my first 20 foot 1976 Mako in 1988. And I brought it down to the Keys. I've loved Mako ever since. This is the all new Mako 214 center console. A boat that takes the Mako name to another level. Let me take you on a quick tour of this boat. All great boats start with a great hull. The kind of hull that can handle rough seas out here. And Mako's deep V hull design delivers. The 214's chop taming hull uses strategically placed strakes to race the boat higher out of the water at speed. Less hull in the water means faster speeds, great fuel efficiency, and better handling. Another attribute of the deep V hull are the white shines that run the length of the hull. What chines do is cut waves and move them away from the boat for a faster, drier ride. Altogether, the 214 center console hull design provides a legendary soft, dry ride for which Mako is known. To handle the kind of beating a good fishing rig takes over time, Mako has created a foam injected hull with a one-piece integrated fiberglass stringer grid. And Mako applies a unique process of multiple and overlapping laminates to create a stronger, more durable hull. Strong enough to get you out to the fish and back every time. It's been said that Mako overbuilds his boats. That is not a sales pitch. That is the truth. Here's more truth about overbuilding. The deck and hull are sealed and bonded 360 degrees, and get this, every six inches a stainless steel fastener is mechanically inserted in the hull and deck. Mako is so sure this boat is built to last that it comes with Mako Assurance. Five years stem to stern coverage. With it comes three years of gel coat warranty and a limited lifetime structural hull warranty. And the entire warranty is transferable to a second owner, Mako Assurance. There's not another warranty like it. To carry the big powerful motors we require out here, the strong, tough integrity of the hull has to carry over to the transom. The Mako engineers understand this, so the transom is encapsulated with a two inch fiberglass impregnated composite core. The result is a transom that is strong and dependable for years of running in rough seas. In fact, there's a lot of function and performance featured back here. Trim tabs are standard on the 214. They enhance the ride while adding to hull performance and fuel economy. For instance, if you have more weight on one side of the boat than the other, you could adjust your tabs to level the boat off. The Mako 214 center console is factory rigged with a powerful 200 horsepower Mercury Optimax. It's hard to believe that the Mako 214 is 21 and a half feet long. It feels much larger. The span of the beam is eight and a half feet wide. It gives you plenty of room for the rig baits and fish with your buddies. Back here in the transom area, we have seats that span the whole width of the beam. Under the port cushion, you will find a 14 gallon bait well. You know this 14 gallon well has a great recirculation pump and that's very important in keeping bait alive. All the aft cushions and the bow cushions are completely removable. And let me show you how easy and accessible it is to get to all your bilge pumps, your live well pumps on the Mako 214. Lift your seat, lift the lid, and you have complete access to everything. So your bilge pumps, your live well pumps, all your plumbing and electrical components. And let me show you how well designed the Mako's 214 console really is. Ample room, you have this footrest where you can lay back, be comfortable and reach those long fishing grounds. And if you want to stand, you have a solid, sturdy steering wheel to hang on to. You can see the gauges whether you're sitting or standing. In today's world, the bigger the better in electronics. That way you can see everything. In this case, I installed a 12 inch unit right in front so I can see everything. But as you can see, you have enough room with a Mako 214 to add another 12 inch unit on this side or install your radio or VHF. The Mako 214 comes standard with a canvas style T-top. Also comes with outrigger pads. In this case, I've installed taco metal outriggers, but you can install whatever you prefer. But something I really like 
in the electronic box that comes standard with the T-top is a mirror. Mako has went ahead and added a mirror so you could actually see the reflection of your electronics in that area. This boat is so new I haven't had a chance to put mine in there, but it's coming. And on the T-top you will find four additional rod holders to keep your rod safe, easy to get to and out of the way. One thing that I really like about these offshore models is the sturdy windscreens. They're all made of aluminum. And also this aggressive non-skid pad they have added to the top of the console where you can put your cellular phones, your pliers, nothing slides down. Excellent. And down here, let me show you, I absolutely love this feature. In this lockable storage area, you can keep your wallet, your keys, your cell phone, your fishing licenses, and it's completely dry storage. By the way, for family fun and safety, a boarding ladder or swim platform is standard on a 214. Some of the best fishing happens at night, and this boat is really set up for it. Shadowcaster Bimini Blue underwater transom lights are optional, and so are the forward and aft spreader lights. Lift the seat, and you have a 92-quart cooler to keep your drinks. But in my case, a bait center, 26-gallon live well to keep all my white bait. Rigging and working on your electronics on a 214 it's very easy, let me show you how. Here you will find all your breakers and your battery selector switch, one and two. Also easy, easy access to both your batteries. When the fishing's hot, you need to be ready for action and you need a lot of rod holders. The Mako 214 offers three rod holders on the gunnels on both sides of the boat. When the fishing action gets really crazy, there can be a lot of mayhem on the deck and you want to have everything put away. That's why I love the Mako 214. It's got lots of compartments. Let me show you. Beneath the deck, there's a center compartment with a recess for a five gallon bucket. Personally, I like to keep my shrimp net with my cast net and my anchor retriever ball in that compartment. And this top loading anchor locker accommodates a 12 inch Dansford or a rock anchor. And with the oversized compartment, it holds a lot of rope for my anchoring in the lower keys wrecks. Beneath the port and starboard seats are insulated fish boxes or storage compartments that are 108 quarts. That's huge. Something that I absolutely love about these coolers, they have a gravity overboard drainage for easy cleanup. That means a clean bilge with no blood. All in all, the interior features of this boat reflect the quality of the Mako design. That's the 214 center console. It's a new boat that adds to the legacy of the Mako name. With quality, rugged durability, and all the fishing features I could use on an offshore boat.